Hello everybody, welcome to Maine. This is Jose. And Katie. And on today's video, we're going to be exploring the beautiful state of Maine. We just crossed into the United States from Canada. So we're now exploring the United States again. And we're gonna go from Maine all the way back to Florida. From one yeah. end of the country to the other. I think we've uh, forgot how far from home we are. <laughs> but the long drive back should be a pretty good reminder yeah. that we're far from home. <laughs> Very far. So on this drive, we're going to begin a journey that's going to take us from one end of the country to the other. From Canada to Florida. But we're exploring as well. And seeing the cities, towns, and beauty of the United States. This has been... Katie, tell them about your career as a realtor in the state of Florida. Yes, I am a realtor with Keller Williams Suncoast out of Lakewood Ranch, Florida. Sarasota area? Yes. I'm with Keller Williams Suncoast, and you can get a hold of me at area code 239. 239. 440. 440. 7173. 73. And at that number, you'll hit her phone up business inquiries only yes if you're thinking about moving to florida hit up katie mm -hmm. and she's your realtor in the sarasota manatee county area one thing to keep in mind is that i am a person <coughs> so you don't need to be like oh you're a celebrity man <laughs> no just normal people y'all and so if, you know you can work in the tampa area sarasota bradenton we're from Naples and Fort Myers. We're super, super familiar with that area. 20 years of our life in, in the Lee Corridor area. So if you need something in Southwest Florida. Tampa, Orlando. Yeah. yeah. We're not the, U Katie's not the YouTube, not the realtor that became a realtor. We're the YouTubers who became a realtor because of how much you guys wanted us to be realtors because of how familiar we are with us in Florida. So kind of most realtors, Come YouTubers to advertise. We're already YouTubers. She got her real estate license because yeah. so many people would call us and be like, hey, when I move to Florida, we want you to help us since we're so familiar with the state of Florida. Yes. With our travels and expeditions. So. But anyways, let's enjoy this beautiful drive. At the moment of this video, Jose is not a realtor. I'm not. She wants me to become a realtor, but that would require reading books and stuff. And he's going to do that eventually. <laughs> I guess. I'm just focused on my YouTube career. I don't care about I know. I'm good. Hi. I'm a world renowned traveler. Yes. <coughs> and you're thinking about getting your luxury certification soon. Yes. That'll be great once you get that. Mm -hmm. I am looking into getting a few different certifications. What's moving? Oh, the wind. Yeah, it kind of moves, so is it? No, we're looking out for moves. You gotta be careful. Yeah. Snowfall. I mean, it's like windy and snow falling in that place, huh? This would probably be unaccessible during the winter, huh? Uh, it's got a snow wheel or something? Uh, I don't know. Probably the ballast for an army tank or something. You see a lot of people have trucks around here for a reason. Yeah. Beautiful place to drive through. Possibly die of boredom if you're living here. I'm confused. I might 
work in Maine. Probably won't work in Florida. Yeah. I know 100 kilometers is 60 miles an hour. <coughs> Sparsely populated. <laughs> seen our first moose today it wasn't running around it was uh it had some road rash mm -hmm. type of situation going on yeah prolonged road rash yeah so we know there's moose out here because we've seen one kind of mm -hmm. it wasn't in a good, prime condition it wasn't in its prime let's just say that mm -hmm. i'd like to know what happened to the car that It's basically like a giant looking horse. But it's a deer. <coughs> I'm surprised people haven't tried to domesticate mooses, you know, like like the Spaniards didn't try to domesticate a moose. Like we don't have a domestic. They may have tried, it may not would have worked out. Yeah, they swim in the lake, so Wow, look at the water. Ooh. What's that over there? I see something popping out of the water. That's just a rock. food in Maine. They're yeah. starving. Yeah. Well, they, they're famous for some type of food. Is it tacos? Is it the taco state? No. It's the sea cockroach state. Lobster. Cockroaches of the sea. <coughs> so, aren't we in the lobsters? Yeah. I eat a lot of lobsters. But that's for like where we're gonna stop tonight. On the coast? Yeah. This the day has flown by because it's been so scenic. Mm -hmm. Every moment of the drive today has been scenic, so it's yeah. like the day like normally we'll look, look at the creek. Normally the day, you know, takes forever. But it's been so scenic. I haven't even let Katie drive. I've, I've been just driving the whole time. Like, I, I don't want to not drive. And I like that because I get to see more. Look how windy it is. Is this a part of Maine where, like, winds hit, like, 100 miles an hour? Or is that in Vermont? I don't There's know. There's a spot up here that, like, gets ridiculous winds. So when we went to Michigan, we explored extensively, really remote parts of the UP, hoping that we would see a moose. Back then, we didn't have our passports, so we went across in the Canada. Yeah. Oh, I just want to see a moose in the wild. I've always wanted to see a moose, because I'm an explorer. Spaniard, I'm an avid explorer and conqueror of new lands. I tried to conquer a hotel, they weren't having it. They did tell me that their free breakfast was available. Maybe after eating, I would be less grumpy. They handled it like pros. Talk. Mm -hmm. Nobody in Canada actually did that. This looks like 
the Florida Everglades on US 41, except for mountains. Yeah. <coughs> Instead of alligators, there's mooses. And rocks. Mountains. I can get, I know how I can blow up my channel and get way more views than I've ever got. I know how to do it. Yeah. I just don't feel comfortable doing it because I feel like I want my subscribers, the good ones, to watch all my videos to know. This is a travel channel, but the travel videos don't pay for the travel. No. Me getting knocked out by a homeless person pays for the travel. Yeah. You know? So it sucks that it's got to be that way. I'm not the one that made it that way. You know, like it's not my fault that that's what moves like I know how to make money on YouTube but it's not travel videos it's interviewing homeless people politics are making a lot of money for people but we don't do politics no can I and the thing about it is like I'll, I'll say whatever to make it I don't care what I gotta do to get paid crap I'd rather I'd rather get paid for moving my mouth and get paid for moving a freaking shovel, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But there's just some moral convictions and things that I believe in that I, you know, hold me back, you could say. Mm -hmm. And not just that, it's like who I am. I, just, I feel like some things are wrong, but I, I really hate how... Something's up ahead. I'm not sure if it's a car or... It might just be a car. Yeah, I'm not sure, but it sucks because, you know, as a traveler... On YouTube, everybody wants to do it, and now people just upload their travels when they travel to YouTube as a photo, you know, as an online source to store video. So it makes it difficult, very difficult, uh, to compete with 
just travel videos. Mm -hmm. You really gotta have a personality. Or, oh, look at the cars. <coughs> Something extra. I think the only advantage we got is that we started before everybody else. And all these new kids, yeah. what they don't understand about YouTube, people think YouTube's gonna go away. It, YouTube's not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. Every three year old wants to be a blogger. Yeah. But then you ask them, what do you want to blog about? And they don't even know what they're going to blog about. Which is kind of like, maybe it's a phase they're going through, or maybe a lot of them actually want to be YouTubers. The thing is, different about YouTube is that, I think for the first time ever, the young people want to be like the older people. Yeah. But when they actually become older, will they still want to be that? Who knows? And they don't care about any other platform. They say YouTube. YouTube, YouTube, I want to be a YouTuber. Well, everybody can't be a YouTuber because there'll be so much content on YouTube that it'll be almost impossible to climb through the volume of content yeah. to become a successful blogger. Only time will tell. In the meantime, it's all right. Like on a map, I mean, it looks imposing for driving to these remote parts, but in all practical purposes, this is the, the, it's so scenic and the roads are so smooth and you know, it's smooth transitions. It's not like rural Alabama where you're going up, down, up, down. Oh my gosh, that sucks! Up, down, up, down, up and down, up and down. You know, driving through rural Alabama, mm -hmm. it's up and down, up and down. Up. You get dizzy. This doesn't make this are like the, the landscape here. It slowly transitions, so if you're driving, it's actually enjoyable. One of the worries that I had of exploring this part of Maine was running into up and down, up and down, up and down, yeah. up and down. That gives you dizzy, makes you dizzy, tired, makes you want to throw up even. But this has been a very, you know, the highway's fairly safe, mm -hmm. other than keeping an eye out for wildlife. Yeah. Seeing it go all the way through. So don't let Maine. If I had known that, I would have taken. Remember the other route that I thought would be more scenic. Yeah. We didn't take the route we thought would be the most scenic. We should have. And the day's gone by so smoothly. It's just we need to find a bathroom for sure. We need to find a bathroom somewhere, a gas station or something. I'm not worried about that right now. Shaved it and tattooed it up. Don't know. Would it like 
the other moose will be scared of it. Just gotta get robbed by it. 35 miles an hour. I'm sure I'm only like three times that. Did I really say 35 miles an hour? I was going You're like, going into a town. I was going like three times faster than that. Wow. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, tremendo aguacero. Tremendo agua, man. This is exploring right here. I want to um, metal detect while I'm up here. The laws in this state aren't too bad. Wow. Grand Rapids, Michigan right there. You think our suitcase would float? I don't want to find out. Like, uh, you can pick me up for down the road. There's a gas station. Are oh, they going to have a bathroom though? Just keep going. Wow, it's all ATVs. <coughs> so a lot of people have told me that Maine is the most scenic state in America. Hmm. Is that true or not? Is there anything more beautiful in Maine? I've heard Maine is about as beautiful as it gets. Well, there's restrooms over there. Where? Over at the rest station over there. We already passed it? Yeah. It would have been nice before we passed it. Yeah. The day's flown by at 24 in the afternoon. Yeah. This is the type of place where you can get a little cabin yeah. and spend like the summer up here fishing, mm -hmm. metal detecting, relaxing. We could just rent a cabin for a month. Yeah. Spend a whole month out here.
you can buy moose urine on the internet. You can buy a lot of different things on the internet. Yeah. But think about catching moose. Then you have to pee in a cup. So you can sell it. I mean, that's a lot of work. Raged by cops for being too law abiding. So that's how you make some money right there. Buy half a mountain and haul it away. I guess you couldn't do that in 
to floor without collapsing your neighbor's properties and yours. Couldn't go up and down. Domesticated or marinated? Somebody typing. I like my moose in the wild.
so beautiful. Gorgeous. Wow, what a view. <laughs> what a view. <coughs> do you have GPS on? Because I have no idea where we're going. I do. Okay, just making sure. I really don't know where we're going. I could not have GPS, my love. Because I, I don't know, we're going to the middle of the You just get distracted in Caroline, just keep driving. Mm -hmm. What's our destination? Our hotel? Yeah. How far are you from it? Two less than two hours. Wow. Mm -hmm. I can do this all day. I'm cool with that. I might try to eat something. Yeah. We'll get you. We'll get you. 33 states now, huh? Chaos. Yeah. <laughs> Leave it to the United States to have chaos even in a rural place. Dude, that is unbelievable. Yeah. There's like islands in the middle of the lakes. There's like a river, I think. Yeah. <coughs> so in Maine, you can metal detect, mm -hmm. but you have to get permission from the personnel at the park. Also, you it's have like a branch in the water. What is there. it? It's in the water. I see something in the water moving. Be careful. Make sure it's not an animal swimming. I just see a branch. I just saw like a branch. Yeah, I saw something moving in the water. Mm -hmm. It doesn't necessarily have to be alive. Because I find them. Okay, I got you. Yeah. It's the way we found the water earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Just in water. I guess if you find park personnel, mm -hmm. you can ask them if you're allowed to metal detect and they'll tell you yes or no. Mm -hmm. And if you find anything that's over a hundred years old, you have to let them keep it. You're not, you're not let them keep it, you can't, you can't, you can't possess it. You gotta leave it where it's at. Mm -hmm. What's this? It's like a wand. Wall of mailboxes. No, they're, they're a hummingbird nest. Bird net and bird houses. Bird houses, cool. Too fast, her. Yeah, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. They're bird houses. I'm sure it's just random people put them up here. Yeah. I'm sure one person did it and then somebody else did it and they seen there's thousands of people yeah. there. Kind of like roll flags and all about. Mm -hmm. That's a 
if somebody from Florida comes and decides to steal them all, sell them on the flea market in English, Florida. Yeah. This is what four man sees that and starts knocking them down at night. Mm -hmm. Fills a semi truck load of, fills a whole back of the truck with. Next thing you know, they open up a yard sale in English, Florida. We have birdhouses for sale, five dollars a piece. Mm -hmm. let, let a Florida man come through here. That's all. That, that's all that needs. You Florida are not man. that Florida man. No. No. Here's a list. Yeah, we can't sell hundreds of bird houses where we live and not get detected. And you're law abiding. I couldn't do something yeah. like that with you. Mm -hmm. It's not like I married a fun hood rat. I married a law abiding Katie. Yeah. It prevents me from being. A little not... bit sees. Yeah. Yeah. And law abiding Katie over here. Can't be tearing down bird houses to some in the yard so in English, Florida. Yep. We don't even live in this world. Yeah. You can't have stuff like that in Florida. Mm -hmm. That would never happen in Florida. Because the first person to stick one up there, even if it was a dang state, would be gone. You know they had a rash in Florida a while back? Where people were stealing benches from parks and putting them in front of their houses? Yeah. They would just paint them. That was a real thing in Florida a while back. Yeah. People were stealing bus stops. People are stealing bus stops and benches in Florida from parks and putting them in front of their houses. Just paint it. That was literally a thing in Florida for a while. Yeah, unfortunately, Florida. They would, had they would show crazy up with a pickup stuff. truck, tie a chain to the to the bench, yank it out of the ground. And then take it home, paint it a different color, put a mat, some type of like, you know, make it look like it was something else, you know? Paint it or put a, a cushion on it and boom. you can't have in Florida. Bird houses by the side of the road. Park benches. a guy in Tampa like not that long ago that was on Interstate 4 in Tampa in a small pickup truck and he had stolen um, an entire aluminum post you know the ones they use for like for electricity on, on the highways yeah <coughs> it's it was like 10 feet longer than the truck in both directions it was like Like it stuck out 10 feet back and 10 feet forward. Mm -hmm. And they just like tied it with a rope to the top of a pickup truck. Wow. And they were arrested on Interstate 4. No doubt. But I'm like, how? So they would have probably taken it home, mm -hmm. cut it up with a sawzall in the smaller chunks, and then sold it out of scrap here. They might have got $438 for it. Mm -hmm. Don't ask me how I know how much it's going to weigh. It's just no. They would have got $438 on them. My question is, what made you think that you were going to drive in a Ford Ranger through an interstate 
carrying a freaking light post and not get pulled over. Mm -hmm. Like it never crossed their mind that somebody would be like, oh, look, they're stealing a freaking light post from the county. You know? No, and there, that, that wasn't really a, po that wasn't a, a possibility. In their minds, it would just be normal. Like everybody, like thousands of people on Interstate 4 would see somebody in a Ford Ranger. First of all, if you're in a Ford Ranger, you're already a suspect to be a crackhead. You're in a Ford Ranger, so you're already suspect. Yeah. But on top of that, you're carrying a light post. You're already floor man. Like, really, thousands of people on their daily commute are going to see you drive through town with an aluminum light post that's like 30 feet longer than your truck, and nobody's going to say nothing. Like, that never crossed their minds that, oh, maybe we could get caught doing this. Nope. Not a chance in the world. I tell you, Florida man is a whole different world, man. Yeah. I'm glad there's nobody behind me because I'm not in a rush. I'm really not in a rush. Wow. Look at how like, it shines, like the rock shines. Possibly more cool than the Rockies or no? I don't know, the Rockies are pretty cool. Mm -hmm. What do you think? We've only seen the foothills. Of uh, the Rockies? What are you talking about? Do we climb all the way up to Fair Play? Yeah. We were up the we were at, we were at eleven thousand feet. Mm -hmm. We weren't at fourteen thousand feet, but we were at like yeah. eleven, twelve thousand feet. We did pretty good. Yeah. Man, I'm really upset we haven't seen this moose yet. If you live here in Maine, in this part of Maine, and you're watching this video, or you lived here, or from this area, my question to you is, how often do you actually see a moose? On a daily basis, on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis, or just a few times a year? Let me know. I love how you can apparently drive your ATV on the road here. I see the side by side coming up. Watch your 
mouth. Katie, that's not a word I used to be saying. What? We're in Bingham. Katie! Watch your mouth! We're really in Bingham. Hey, <laughs> watch your mouth. What are you... I don't know where you, you picked up this thing. Watch your mouth. <coughs> Alright guys, that's a drive through uh, thing. 